Hi traders, I'm Toots, how's it going? So we have some new leaks today from El Chico Eevee. Now this is to do with the Chinese beta because Pokemon Unite is releasing in China and it looks like they're gonna get a whole new game. So this leak was from the Chinese beta as well. As you can see, it's like this hub world. It looks insane, it looks really cool. And that was like the first thing we saw about the Chinese beta leak. But now we have some videos that are from the Chinese beta as well. And it actually shows a bunch of new things that aren't in the game. Now a huge Huge disclaimer, what's in the Chinese beta possibly will not come to Pokemon Unite that we know, so the global one. It seems like it's very common for them to make like a different game for the China, like I guess I'm not too sure why, maybe it's like to be approved or something or I have no idea. It could be a low chance that it comes to the global one as well, but I'm going to assume for now that it's just going to stay in the Chinese beta. However, it is still really cool to see because who knows, maybe it could come to Pokemon Unite. Maybe it'll give us insight on where Pokemon Unite wants to head towards to. The first thing I want to show here is this tweet. I'm so sorry if I say this wrong. Suik Suikun? Suikun? <laughs> It's a water type legendary Pokemon that Al Chico Eevee has tweeted. And I just want to say this now. Al Chico Eevee has confirmed that it's not coming to Pokemon Unite. Just wanted to post a GIF Kappa. I mean, I don't know if the Kappa is Kappa for the GIF that he posted or Kappa for the tweet that he just wrote. But not everything Al Chico Eevee posts is to do with Pokemon Unite or is to do with a leak from Pokemon Unite. There are times when Al Chico Eevee does post a GIF and it actually is related to Pokemon Unite. So you really just never know. But for now, he says that this is not related. We do have a bunch of new Pokemon coming to the game. So I would be surprised if we got more info on another new Pokemon that's coming already. But Al Chico Eevee does work pretty fast and we do get a lot of insight on a lot of new Pokemon very, very early. But for now, it doesn't seem like this Pokemon's coming because I've already had people ask me, Tee, did you see Al Chico Eevee's new tweet? I know, I saw it and I got excited for a second. <laughs> because I think this Pokemon's design is so gorgeous. We also have this new lobby image exclusive for the Chinese version. So it says exclusive for the Chinese version, which makes me think, I don't know, maybe the, the hub world isn't coming to Unite, like the global version. We don't know yet, it, anything is possible. We have these images and it looks so cute and you can like dance with your with your friends, I think, which is so sick. It's not like an open world thing or something like that. It's just like a little hub area that you can hang out until like your next game is what I'm taking it as, but it is really, really cool. And it just looks so much more alive. So I really hope that this does come to the global version, but it might be very laggy. Maybe some people can opt out of it. I don't know, but it looks awesome. Okay, let's go through the video clips. If anyone could translate this, that'd be amazing because I don't understand or speak Chinese. Okay. Okay, let's go. All right, so we have the, I think this is like the introduction video for Pokemon Unite in China. It looks like that it will, it will be using Remote Stadium. So it's not using Skythea Rooms. It's the old Remote Stadium map. And the Reggie, it's a Reggie rock at the top. And I can't remember what Reggie that was. Reggie something else at the bottom, sorry. And it doesn't look like they have Reggie Lucky. So that is the first video that we have. We're getting a little bit of a different layout. Which is really interesting. I don't think they would bring back Remote Stadium to Pokemon Unite like as an official ranked map. Although I do think we're due in for a new map because it's been quite a while. Okay, this is the second clip that we have. So let's see what we have here. It's going to introduce Pokemon that are in the game. Apparently there are only 35 playable Pokemon at the moment. And we have a lot more in the global version, which is really interesting because you think it would be easy to just put the Pokemon that we already have into the game, but maybe they're changing it up a little bit. Maybe the skills will be a bit different or something like that. So that was just a fight. All right, let's check out number three. So number three, we have them at the base. We have, oh, okay, this is really cool. So there are a few things that you can choose here. And also there is this like wheel over here as well. So when you choose one, it goes into this wheel. And this one says experience. And this one says XP up, but I don't know what this one is. So I think we get to see him. So he's gonna pick the purple one, I believe. And then that gives that perk to Pikachu. And now Pikachu, this is so interesting. I actually translated it 
it's actually really, really, this translation is probably really rough, but I got it through my phone. So for this one, it says, fight against monsters and develop experience knocking down wild Pokemon plus 50%. It's called Yeos technology or something like that, which is really interesting. The next one is intersectional development. The most successful the score or the more successful the score, the more experience. So if you score more, you get more experience from it. And then the third one, assisted development, natural and assist experience plus 100 percent oh so it's like xp share i guess in a way like if you're a supporter maybe you would pick the last one because you would get more experience from helping your allies get experience that is so interesting and i actually wish that we had something like that in pokemon unite like globally because it sounds really cool and we also have the score bar at the top here as well so that is new that score bar up here, I don't know if it stays during the game, but because this person's playing the character, you can actually see the score. All right, so for this one, oh, he's got speed. Okay, wait, so I translated this as well. It's another technology one that you have to choose, and it says the escape from war continues to accelerate. The speed of escape from battle is plus 40%. So Pikachu is pick the speed one so they're faster the second one is escape from the war and be briefly invisible five seconds of stealth after each escape and the third one is escape from the war shield war free shield get a control free shield after escape escaping from the war so i think the control shield is like crowd control that is so interesting so all of these it gives you the speed boost and you're just running across. That is so interesting. Okay, for this one, it says double the points next time. The next hand as you can plus, plus 100%. The second one, if you are knocked down, you won't lose points. You won't lose points when you are knocked down. And the third one, the intersection is more stable. Intersection immunization. Oh, so this is like score shield in a way or something. Like you can't be interrupted while scoring. And you can equip five of these because if we remember the little circle at the side, you can equip five of them. That is so different like even though it's the same map that we used to play the game is feels really different just because you get to pick these perks and change it up which is really cool and you would have like new things to think about like what is better and look at these i guess it's the first to reach 500 points wait is there no timer the timer here is going is going up the timer here is going up it's the first to reach 500 points it's a completely different game mode i don't even know what this is about this guy's moving <laughs> Okay, so the next one, number four, I am so intrigued by this. It's in, it's crazy, like, what is going on in this. Like, the Chinese beta for Pokemon Unite is so different. So this one just says, get the experience, catch the experience quickly. And is it just showing the experience? I'm very curious to know what this purple icon is as well. Okay, so it's just showing us the wild Pokemon that you can probably collect during the early stages, the map and everything. This is just fighting. Oh, look at that bar. It is. It's every. It's whoever reaches 500 first. So scoring is so much more important in this mode. It's not getting like more points than the other in a 10 minute time frame. It's like it's just scoring to 500, which is kind of like it kind of feels a bit tower defensey. All right, so we have Zapdos here. So this one says the eternal electric bird continues to advance. It is a strong turnover. So he destroys Zapdos and Zapdos now walks towards, I think, the enemy goal zone. And probably like if it's like the old Zapdos, it probably like makes it go down and makes it vulnerable. And the last clip we have here is probably going to show more about okay oh okay so we have Avalug, we have Dreadnought, Rotom. But what were the Regis? The Regis were there as well. So uh, where, where where are the Regis placed? Uh, the Regis are placed at the top and bottom. Oh, okay. So Rotom is in the middle of the lane and it goes towards the goal zone to do... Oh, it makes it weak. Okay, so you, now you can just like insta-score, which is really good if it's just a mode all about scoring. This is so completely different. And look at these icons as well on Pikachu's abilities. That is really interesting. So Dreadnought is probably here and then Zapdos will eventually spawn and then Dreadnought will... I, don't, I, think it, I think it respawns and then it goes towards the base. Okay, yeah, so Avalug respawns, goes towards the base and does it... Oh my god! It completely destroys the goal zone. Avalok completely destroys the game. But I don't get it. Wouldn't you want the... 
goal zone to be does it just take all the points that are there wouldn't you want it to be up so you could score more points and try to overcap to try and get over 500 or like two 500 quicker that is really interesting and then zapdos zapdos will respawn and it will walk towards the goal zone and it just makes it weak as well oh bet it lives so you can actually drag zapdos to probably the next goal zone if you get this one into the end goal zone that would be pretty huge oh okay Oh, okay. that is insane. Okay, so Zapdos just completely... Okay. Okay, so the new Pokemon Unite version in China is going to be insanely different to what we know. And can I just say, I would absolutely love this to be in the global Pokemon Unite, at least as a, um, a mode to play, because it actually looks really interesting. You get all these new perks, and it's just whoever scores the 500 first. That's like a whole different kind of competitive mode. It's, it kind of gives me like a bit, a bit of tower defense in a way. It's so cool. I actually really like this. That is so interesting. I also have this clip as well. So this is a little bit of a sneak peek in the next battle pass that's all i have i literally only have four seconds of it it looks it looks very beautiful it looks maybe japan inspired cherry blossom trees mountains really good nature it this is the next battle pass theme that's going to happen don't know which pokemon it's for i have no idea no clue but this looks really pretty and i'm very excited to see what the next battle pass is going to be okay that is all for this video thank you so much for watching trainers and i hope to catch you on the next one bye